Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back to talk about channel goals for 2024. In order to prepare for this video, I watched my 2023 video and I kind of chuckled that I had given myself a yearly word of simplify and then had not actually really simplified anything. I thought I had, but I, I really hadn't. I like lists way too much. And I think that just kind of distracted me besides all the things that I was kind of planning for happened and didn't happen the way I was planning. We'll just say that. So not necessarily a simplified year. It was unpredictable and interesting though. And overall, I am happy that I have lived through 2023. Now, looking forward into 2024, for this channel, I do have a few goals. I am obviously very focused on the booktube side of things, and I am giving myself a reading goal of 50 books. Now, to be fair, I have read more than 50 books this year. And I think that actually might have been my reading goal last year, and then halfway through I had hit it, and so I just expanded it. But this year, I think that I'm going to be more intentionally slowing down on reading. Not because I don't want to read, but because life has set me up to have more time at my discretion. And I have decided that this is the year that I want to buckle down and get a book written. I know I said that last year, and even <laughs> I had mentioned that my part-time job the hours had changed and I was like, oh, I'll have more free time, except I didn't. But this year I don't have the second job. So quite potentially I do have more time. Also, my husband is looking to write as well. And you know, it's just going to really annoy me if he gets published this year and I don't. We both are looking to self-publish at this point. I am expecting to be doing more writing. And unfortunately, the time that I spend doing a lot of my reading will probably be used more for writing here in the future. But there is still time that will be carved out for reading. I typically read like an hour before I go to sleep and I read physical books during that time period. So that is why I still go for my physical shelves. For reading challenges, I think a few videos before this one, I talked about these books will explode. So I do have a reading challenge to read 12 books off of my to be read shelf or the books will get unhauled at the end of the year. So I'm doing that challenge. I am looking to do the buzzword a thon in 2024. However, I am not picking any specific books. I've gone through the prompts and found like 10 options for each prompt. And then I'm going to just see what I am able to get my hands on. And then at the end of the year, we will just see, did I complete the prompts? Yes or no. And to go along with reading challenges, it's not so much a reading challenge though, because I am a judge for the self-published science fiction contest. I'm obviously going to be reading those books. And then other than those reading challenges, I probably will still attempt the magical readathon. Didn't do very well this past year, but that's okay. I think other than that, my goal is just to be consistent on putting out videos. I would like to do two to three videos a month. And I'd like to also go back to doing more book reviews. I think by setting the expectation that I'm going to read less, I think I can do more personal book reviews for each book that I read. At least that is the hope. I was enjoying doing the weekly reads, but I was also reading more actively. Again, some of that time is not going to go for reading anymore. Yeah. 
So I think probably what I'll do is either the specific book reviews for the books I'm reading, or I will do a monthly wrap up. I haven't actually decided. I'm just kind of going with the flow into 2024. So yeah, that is my 2024 goals for my channel. And I'm feeling hopeful as I'm at the end of 2023. I think 2024 is going to be a really good one. I would love to hear some of your goals. Please let me know down below. Thank you and have a great day.